okay so select case keyword and it should end with end select and each comparison would be made through case okay case val your action goes here case val one goes here so optionally you can also provide something called case else if required okay so that's a syntax remember when you are using select case how the select case works is select case always you know will be comparing a value with a variable a variable is the base for the select case always and depends on the value which is generated in a variable select case will work accordingly so that means that select case will work by comparing the values on in a variable okay at a time you will be able to compare with only one variable or you will be you will be able to validate only one variable at a time and there is no logical operator placed in the select case okay now let's take a simple example here when you have a scenario where let's say okay you you have a checkbox and you have a checkbox and on the checkbox there will be only two possibilities what are they either it will be selected or it will be unselected you said true or false true means selected false means unselected can both will be at a time i mean uh, both will be there at a time no right only one will be there so now you say you have an action that needs to be performed when you have selected the checkbox when the checkbox is selected or you have another action that needs to be performed when the checkbox is unselected now the current status of the checkbox take into a variable you say bln checkbox status so the value of the selected status coming into the bln checkbox status variable so what you need to do now if the status equal to true you do something then if it is false you do something different now instead of writing this statement when you write the select case what you can do here select case that bln checkbox status that's a variable what variable containing the value that variable is nothing but the keyword right so select case bln checkbox status then what would be the value you are comparing with true or false first time case true do something val is nothing but the value of the variable if the variable contains true you do this action if variable contains false then you do some other action okay so the keyword is nothing but say bln checkbox status now if it is true do something case false you do something or instead of case false you can give else here directly the reason because yeah true or false if it not true obviously it will be false so else could be false here so what you are doing now you have got a value into a variable each case is nothing but each value that you compare with okay so select case always will work by comparing the values with the variable depends on the value which comes then it will be executed and remember there will be no logical operator placed in the no operator will be placed in the case you cannot have any comparison operator you cannot have any arithmetic or logical operator placed in the case whereas in if statement you can place all kinds of conditions right also in if statement you can validate multiple conditions in one statement right by separating logical operator but select case will be very straightforward select case will work only by comparing a variable value when you have a variable 
and if you need to execute the code based on the value coming into the variable then you need to use select case not you need to use you can still go with if statement okay now let's take for example this one take a scenario when you take a scenario i have functions like this i mean i'm just creating a procedure hmm? Today is Monday. So I'm just you know performing a um, function. So today is Monday. I have got functions like this. I'm just taking an example. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you need to write. A piece of code here but I'm just writing only single line of code Got function six. So you have got six procedures created. Just you know, uh, different procedures. The function is nothing but a procedure which you will learn after the loops. Huh? Okay. Now assume I will be providing a date based on the name of the day. It has to execute. The procedure. If it is Monday, then it should execute function one. If it is Tuesday, it should execute function two. If it is Wednesday, it should execute function three. If it is Thursday, it should execute four, and then five, and then six. Okay. So if it is Saturday or Sunday, it should execute four. How many possibilities are there here for day name? There will be. I mean, seven days are there. Out of that, six possibilities that I am checking. Monday to Friday, five possibilities. Saturday and Sunday, uh, weekend possibility. But at a time, only one, right? Now you see here, the action what I need to perform is unique to the output here. This output, this. This output, this. No logical comparison I am making. I am straightforward. Monday this, Tuesday this, tu Thursday this or Wednesday this like that. Now what I will be doing is, okay, so DT date is, you give like this. Some date that I have given there. You can give any date, no problem. Okay, so you can give a date in any of the format. Now, str day name equal to weekday name of. What does it mean? So it will retrieve the name of the day, right? Depends on the name of the day, whatever the name uh, it comes in the str day name, then it has to execute a particular procedure right? so if the day name is monday then it has to execute function one if the day name is tuesday it should execute this if the day name is wednesday it should execute this if you forget the select case you can write the condition like this if 
str day name equal to monday then i'll say call function 1 so that means i'm calling the function 1 procedure you can say else if str day name equal to tuesday call function 2 else if str day name equal to wednesday then call function 3 again else if str day name you need to write there is many else if thursday then call function Else if str day name equal to Friday, then could be else further. Because if not, uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, Friday, then obviously it will be weekend, any of this. Then call function 6. That's how you write. But when you write there's many else if and all, script looks a bit complicated. Script looks a bit exhausted there. Difficult to trace, you know, which one will be executed all this. I mean, making a script too much complex. Right? But this works actually. But instead of doing that, to make it more structured and more simple way, you say like this, select case, str day name write the variable only once in the beginning now inside each case is nothing but the possible value of this variable what are the possible values of this variable six possibilities i mean seven possibilities are there but saturday and sunday means else only i mean it's a weekend now you have got remaining five possibilities now all five possibilities you say each case is nothing but each possible value you say case monday call function 1 case tuesday call function 2 case wednesday Now look at the code, then if condition and select case. If condition looks a bit complex, right? But whereas select case looks a little, you know, easy or structured. More. That's where the select case comes into the picture. Whatever you write, if statement is doing it, whatever you have written in the uh, select case, your statement is doing that. But number of else if statements you write and code becomes a bit complex to understand. But to make it more structured and more easy, then what you should do, you need to, I mean, you can go with select case. But conditions apply when you go for select case. Is when you say you have no number of possible outputs, right? When you say now, like I have some outputs like this, it will be generating a numeric. It will be generating numeric. Now I have to go for this it is one it should execute one if it is two it's execute two times if it executes if uh, generates three it should execute for three times four five times six six times like this that means depends on the number it generates it executes this many but if you say like this you have to write like this case one case two case three case four case five but that is you assume that that is unlimited the number is being unlimited here. In such cases, you will not be able to write select case. It should be known number of outputs, known number of possible outputs. And also, the action what you are performing is unique to the output. 
unique to the output. Now let's say one of the if condition what we have written to check whether it is in uppercase or lowercase. What is that? We have not validated it straightforward. We have used some logical operator. Say if it is in between 65 to 90, in between 97 to 122. I mean, how we have implemented that condition by using this logical operator. That means you are not just comparing with one value at a time. You are comparing with group of values or range of values. Right. So that, that means that you are using some operators, logical operator or automatic or comparison operator. When you are doing such kind of validation, not a straightforward, you are validating a variable with a range of values at a time, then you will not be able to use select case. When you are comparing with only one value at a time, each variable, then you can use select case. Understand the difference here. When you are comparing with the range of values, like you know, in value variable could be in between this to this, or variable would be this or this, like that. So when you are doing such kind of logical validation, as well as when you are using all operators, different operators in the statement, then don't go for select case. When you go for select case, when you are comparing with one value at a time and your action is unique to the value, unique to the output, only when you have no number of possible outputs, when you have no number of possible outputs like a true or false or like this weekday, we know only seven, we know that all seven. So what are the possible output will be coming, but sometimes when we don't know the possible output, what will happen? We can go for logical validation, right? When you don't know the exact possible output, then you go for logical validation. But when we are aware or when you are sure that or when you are sure about uh, yeah, number of outputs there, a possible output, then you can go for this. And if you are from other language background, you remember when you are using switch case, you have a habit of writing something called break. Break. Right? You know what is that break meant for? When you have switch case, right? So usually in other language it works like this. You have switch case variable, so and so keyword. You say case this, you write block of code. Then case, second case, you write another block of code. In other language how it works is, you it takes the value of the variable which is you have written in the switch case. First it will check for first case. If first case is matched, it executes the code inside. Once that case is matched, it will not stop there. It will try to check for second case also, where in other language. But when you write when you write a break statement, then it will come to end of that case, right? But here you don't need to write the break. How this works is how this works is here in VB script. First, it will take the value of the variable. First, it will come to the first case. If the variable value, current value of this variable matching with this, then comes here and executes. After executing the code, whatever you have written here, it will not come to the next case. It will directly come to the end. You don't need to write break or anything. It will directly come. If this value first case is not matching, this value is not matching with the current value, then it comes to the second. If second one is matching, it executes the lines of code, not single line. You can write n number of lines again. You can execute n number of lines. So it will execute this. After executing this, it will not go for next case. It will directly go to end. Okay. If second one also not matching, goes for third one. If third one also not matching, goes for fourth one. I have written only four here. If fourth one also not matching, I have not written any fifth one, right? Then it will not execute anything. That will be ignored. But if you have written case else, it will execute else part. But I have not written, I have not written case else right here. I mean, sometimes it's optional. De default is nothing but else. Default. Here you call it as else, there you call it as a default. Okay? So case else, here we write, there you write a default. 
got what i am saying here so if statement is doing the same thing right but why we are going for select case to make programming more simple and more structured that makes the difference but it makes understandability of your code yeah if statement is that's what i am telling right same thing i am telling so whatever you are writing in select case if statement can do it if statement uh, only difference is it's making simplified it's making select case is making more simple to understand if statement looks congestive or it's making a very complex but the wait executes will be same the wait executes same and here it will be executed two times because i have written two statements but why i am writing the two just to show the difference between these two that's it why i have written these two here just to show the difference if you write some condition in the if statement how it would look, uh, look like and if you write it in select case how it would look like that's it so to just to make you to understand that i have written both but I, you will be writing only one in the reality okay so when you have the known number of possible values and if your action is unique to the a value unique to the value then you use select case but in case if you say the value is not straight forward you may have to perform the action by performing a logical comparison by performing a logical comparison or logical validation then you go for if statements okay like that means that if you need to use and or or operators or all these things arithmetic operators and all then you go for if statement but we, when you are comparing with only one value that to straight forward value without any operator then you go for select case and remember if you are from other language background then you might be you might have an habit of making it as break or you know writing a break inside it but break is not required if one case at a time only one case will be matched if case one matched it will not check for remaining cases whatever the code you have written under first case will be executed directly goes to end Uh, but that is optional in case if you want to take return value then you can but here i don't want to take any return just i'm displaying right yeah, that, that that wait for some time uh, when it comes to the user defined functions i just wrote the function only to show now okay so uh, return is nothing but when you need to take the return value there will be two types of transactions always one is you just perform the action no need to take any output you take login you enter user name you enter password click on login button do you need to take any return from it i don't need so in such cases you don't need to use return but some other transaction is like this assume you are creating an order whereas you enter the details of the order as soon as you click on submit then order id will be one order number will be generated you need to capture that order number that has to be passed in some other like maybe search for order update order other scenario other procedures you need to pass in such cases after executing the transaction you need it is generating one value you have to capture it such kind of situations use return so use return only when you need to take the output but when you don't need to take any output return is not required but however return keyword is not there it is a different way of taking the return value here in the vb script but in languages how you take the return value return keyword is there wait for some time till we uh, uh, start with uh, user defined functions after the loop that will be coming so there is one more concept in between okay so i'm not taking too much of example for select case um wait for uh, real time scenario for this huh? in the in the user defined functions or in the loops and all we will be getting that hmm? so followed by uh, the next topic you will be getting the examples but as of now understand select case like just to, you know you are comparing a value with a variable and then you are taking the decision okay